What's happening people, this is Jammers UK coming at you with a quick player review, teamless season review. This time it is the one and only beast Diego Costa. As a Chelsea fan I'm a big supporter, I don't care if he goes this season or not. Won us a league title last year even if he wasn't entirely happy but yeah it's another story. As for the card I tried out the 85 early, I was using the 88, um, maybe February something like that. So yeah I've got a good idea of how Costa works, he's not best player he's not the most functional but he can definitely score goals so I'm going to take you through my first impressions and my last impressions I was struggling in champs and I bought Costa in for the last 10 games so that's what you'll be seeing in the background uh, aside from that make sure to give my small channel a sub and a little like if you enjoy the video without further ado let's get on with the review so I've tried out nearly every Premier League team of season player and I hadn't gone for Costa because he was pretty expensive considering his three-star skills and his lack of pace. And to be honest, even on the team of season card, he's not the fastest. He'll still get away if he's, you know, away away. But it's better to use strength and good positioning. Um, here, I remember I pressed with Son. Luckily got the ball. And I knew what I was going to do. I mean, instantly, Diego Costa's feet into the box. And he's always going to score. I guess me telling you that he's good at shooting and he's not very fast isn't the best information. I mean, everybody knows that. Look at Costa. And yeah, sure, the things that he does well, the things that the base card do well, he still does well. He's still incredibly strong, like astronomically so. He's a little faster, as you can see there. And he's always going to finish, either foot, it doesn't matter. But... The real bonus of the team this season card is that uh, you notice all of the little attribute boosts such as his passing. I know the base card has terrible passing it's hard to use him as a focal point. It's hard to use him like a real life Diego Costa. But the upgraded passing stats mean that he can chip balls over to your wingers or even pass it back like a good centre forward. Diego Costa is a limited player so the upgraded stats mean that it's easier to adapt to his three star skills. The four star weak foot isn't bad, but at this stage of the game, he's not the most overpowered striker, and that's the reason why you're not very likely to see him. As for dribbling, that was also boosted heavily, and noticeably so. He's not going to ever be a messy or anything like that, don't get me wrong. But he can drop the shoulder, and if you know what you're doing in terms of trigger dribbling, he will be reasonably effective. He'll still get tackled every now and then because of his body size and the fact that he's still a little clunky but overall his dribbling is vastly improved so overall he wasn't that bad in terms of foot champs quality but he wasn't particularly effective I bought him for roughly 260k on Sunday night somebody was probably selling him off the weekend league and to be honest I sold him straight away Monday morning made about 10k after tax but to be honest, I'd have been happy to take a loss just to get rid of him. For that amount of coinage, you can do much better, especially in terms of strikers, and the Premier League is always going to be stacked, especially up top. So if I do decide to go for Diego Costa again, I'm probably going to go for the 88. I see that he's only roughly about 80k at the moment, and that's not too bad. It's pretty affordable, and there isn't that much of a difference in terms of his highest rated in form and his team of the season especially not to justify the difference in coins it's a shame for me personally because i really like diego costa but to be honest i kind of had a suspicion that he wouldn't be that good especially when you look at the price drop in comparison to other premier league strikers or other supposedly top tier strikers at least so yeah he's a good player with boosted stats but not special and probably not worth that amount of money he scored a few goals in champs and yeah a few goals in the daily knockout tournament I played on Monday as well but I was happy to get rid and I mean it's weird as I said before he's one of my favorite players and I'm used to using bigger center forwards I use the 95 Cavani and there shouldn't be that much of a difference between the two but there just is unfortunately so yeah on that sad note probably going to wrap it up try Costa out for yourself if you want but bear in mind that he's just not going to be as beastly as you might expect and it might be worth trying out the 88 first just to get an idea of what an informed Costa brings to the table 
so yeah that's it from me make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it sub to the channel and yeah i'll be back with more fifa related content in the near future nice one guys